Hey, today we're trying authentic pesto genovese, or at least my best attempt at it. I promise it will be fantastic and it will be worth it. Let's go. I have always liked pesto, but it was kind of, eh, you know, nothing special for me. It was good, but there was something lacking. And maybe like me, you yourself have tried it before using a blender or uh, a food processor, maybe using too much of everything. Until I saw an Italian chef making the authentic pesto genovese in Genoa or Genoa in English, right? and I was blown away. It was so different and I got curious. So I started looking into it. First of all, they're using a mortar and pestle, right? That's different. So today, that's what we're doing. We're going in that direction. And this is my best attempt at an authentic pesto genovese. So what makes it different? Well, to, for pesto to be genovese, first of all, Everything has to come from the area. The basil, the pine nuts, the olive oil, the garlic. Everything that they use, it is known as a DOP product. And DOP stands for Denominazione di Origine Protetta. I hope that came out good. Which literally translates to Designation of Protected Origin. So it is a thing to call a pesto genovese. So, we are gonna attempt to try something like pesto genovese. That disclaimer is so my Italian friends don't start calling me and telling me, hey, that is not real, but you didn't use the... Well, well, okay, we're this is gonna be our best attempt at the pesto genovese. So if you wanna take your pesto game to the next level or you just wanna try it for the first time, stay tuned, because it will be worth it. Remember, cooking is always about ingredients, time, and temperature. And if you pay attention to all these three things, you're gonna have consistent results every time. So first, we're gonna get organized. The French call this mise en place. And all mise en place is, is having all the ingredients and the tools that you need right in front of you. Mise en place is less stress. Let's prep. So we'll need about two cups of fresh basil leaves. In Genova, they prefer the smaller, freshest, and of course, they use Genovese leaves, which are DOP as well. One quarter cup of pine nuts, two small garlic cloves, center core removed. Half a cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano, which is a DOP cheese. A quarter cup of grated Pecorino Romano, which is also a DOP cheese. Half a cup of extra virgin Italian olive oil. This is definitely a DOP product. I did not have anything from the Genovese region, which is the northern part of Italy. The one I have is from the southern part of Italy, but it's still a DOP product and it's also amazing. Half a pound to three quarter pound of good quality spaghetti. And finally, salt and pepper to taste. Start by washing the basil leaves and make sure that you pat them dry thoroughly. So in the mortar and pestle, you're gonna crush the garlic with a little bit of salt using circular motions until it becomes a paste. Then we're gonna add the pine nuts and crush them as well. Remember, always using a circular motion and that will turn into a coarse paste. Then we're gonna add the basil. This much will probably add them in two or three batches and keep on crushing everything and mixing everything together with this circular motion of the pestle. Add the Parmigiano Reggiano, combine it, and then add the Pecorino and combine it. And now we're gonna add the olive oil very slowly and incorporate it and create a creamy consistency. Taste it and adjust for salt. Remember that both cheeses are salty. So the pesto is ready for use here. We're gonna add it to pasta, but you can use it on a crostini. You can use it on a different sauce. I mean, this is a very versatile thing and you can keep it with a lid and make sure you put enough oil to cover so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't change color. Uh, you can keep it in the fridge for a few days. We're gonna cook the pasta until al dente. Make sure you follow the instructions on the package. In this case, it's 11 to 12 minutes. 
When the spaghetti is ready, we're gonna combine it with the sauce in a different pan, off the heat. We're gonna shake the pan and move everything around, and we're gonna add a little bit of the cooking pasta water and shake it some more, add a little bit more water, and keep on shaking that until a kind of cream starts to form from the starch in the water and the cheese coming together. The Italians call this mantecatura. Serve it on a plate, top it with a little bit of an extra sauce, and add some more parmigiana reggiano. And make sure you serve it immediately. Finally, my favorite moment, taste test. Oh my God, I'm so excited today because I don't know if you noticed, but there are four plates here. It's my daughter, two of her friends. I got these girls out of the pool so they can taste today. Come on, girls. I, oh, I need one more. I need one more, right? Okay, uh, let's see. Melissa, yeah. right? Yeah, Melissa. thank you so much. Okay, Whitney. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and Isabella. You're my dad. All right, there you go. Okay, so each one, grab a plate. You saw a lot of work with that mushroom, but you know, you saw this is great. You don't need a gym. This is your workout, right? And you just alternate the hands, you know, the muscles, all the kind of thing. But I promise you, you can, you can laugh, that's fine. You don't <laughs> I, I promise you, you will notice a difference in texture. It's just way creamier. All right, let's go, girls. I, I, I feel like Charlie. And these, are, these are my angels. So true. All right, let's go. Mm. Oh, so good. Yeah. Well. <laughs> You can you can <laughs> ooh ah uh, lo ooh la la all you want. Holy mm. <laughs> crap! Wow. This is really good. This mm. is so yummy. Yum. That is really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. so, so, so tell tell me tell me what, what are you what, what are you getting from this? The maybe it's like really fresh tasting. Fresh like, tasting. Like I like when pesto tastes like fresh. I right. Like notice everything about it. It's not just like this weird green gunk. Right. This is not weird green gunk. There, there you <laughs> go. This mm. is dope. It's like you can taste all the different, I don't know. We're gonna everything. So what do you think, Brittany? Sometimes pesto is really oily mm -hmm. and this isn't mm -hmm. like at all. It coats the spaghetti, but it's not like the oily feeling that I'm in my mouth. Right? Yeah. With a British accent, it sounds more curdled. Mm -hmm. Always, right? That's true. I don't know why, why that is, right? It's but uh, seal of approval. Well, so what are you saying? This is so good, I don't want to stop eating it. Um, so I think that's it. You know what this deserves? A yummy dish. It's yummy, it's yummy, <laughs> it's yummy, it's pesto, genovese, it's yummy, it's pesto. <laughs> that, that's a lame, is that a lame? <laughs> from, from Seinfeld? I don't right? know, I just had that, I had to just but, that loose uh, for a second. Guys, like, I, I promise you, I promise you. You have to go this route at least once. Mm -hmm. Try it. Let me know what you think, right? I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Four things. Subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, and cook it. Next, it's gonna be unbelievable. Come back and see. Let's go this. Let's go, angels. <laughs>